Hi everybody, Angie here, coming on to do um, the Marguerite Miller's Weekly Collage Challenge. We're going to get going on week 20, hashtag 2022 CWP20. The prompts for this week are thread or threads or a piece or pieces of fabric. I have chosen threads, a famous person, something you see through a window, whichever form that would be, postcard or letter or a portion of each, either, a date written out, and for a bonus, something blue. So I was, as I was saying, I've chosen thread rather than fabric. And for that, and for a famous person, I've combined the two of those. For my person, I've chosen Lucille Ball. She is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite all-time um, people to watch on television. She brought, brought so much laughs and enjoyment to TV world. Um, it was such a devastating loss when she passed. Um, and I just love her. She's so, so talented and beautiful. But um, so I found a picture of her, um, Googled her, found her just a small portrait and printed it out. And then um, I tried to do like a cabinet card picture. So then I just layered it with another uh, printed um, piece of paper and I just cut out an oval and then I stitched around. I was going to actually do the two sided piece and do the inking and all that and layering. But then I was thinking, well, I'm dealing with a smaller piece. And that wouldn't work. So I just did it like that. And then I just left some of the strings hanging down. Okay. And then I also found um, her name. So I printed that out. And I just thought it was color uh, pretty nice and bright and colorful. So I printed that out. Something you see through the window. Of course, you see cars parked on the street all the time. And this is just a lightweight chipwood, chipboard piece. Um, from my Christmas stash actually and it had a um, pine tree Christmas tree like you know you're going to pick out your Christmas tree at Christmas time so I cut that off and you can still see a little bit of that so however I choose to use that I'll try to hide that with some embellishments you know I'll put something over it or tuck it under or what have you it's not really that visible but I can see it so I'll try to hide that postcard I have a couple um, I have this one here, it just says Washington. I just like it for the flag because it says here or a portion. I might just tear off and use that little portion because I like the seal and um, so I don't know. And then I also have this postcard because it also says for a bonus, something blue. So that caught my eye there. Um, and then this for something blue, I just grabbed this. It's just a, just a piece of a digital. And then of course this for something blue caught my eye. For a couple reasons, it has the word lovely on it. It's a digital of a dictionary page, but I love that lace trim on the edge there. And then it also has stitching. So it all kind of combines in. So I chose that piece. And then this is where I cut out the oval. As you can see, I traced a oval circle and cut it out. So I still have that. And then just some bits and pieces just to tie the piece together. I cut out a couple um, scalloped circles brought in a couple botanical pieces. I got some roses here and then a, uh, I don't know what you call that there. And then just a washi sticker here with some grid and some writing and just a few bits and pieces. And then this is just a little lace, uh, not lace, um, like a doily kind of a, a, a see-through plastic piece. I was thinking that if I use this um, stamp piece, not that it's very, it'll, stand out a little bit. I thought might I just might layer that over that just to give it a little bit of a, I don't know, just add a texture. That was my thought. So I grabbed that. Okay, so let's get started, see what we can come up with. I think this will come out to be a really nice page just for the simple fact that I'm using Lisa, Lucille Ball. I just love her to death. So, um, so let's see, she's gonna be front and center and everything else is gonna work around her. So let's see what we've got. I definitely want that word lovely and the trim to show, the little lace trim. So depending on where we put that, maybe about like that. Um, again, I don't necessarily think 
we'll wait on that. Since blue is kind of the theme, and I saw this, and it was kind of a blue tone, but it looks more kind of a turquoise, but it's still in the blue family. But I really liked the pattern on it. If you can see, I don't know, it's kind of like a paisley pattern, so to speak, but it's kind of vintage at the same. I don't know. I liked it, so that's what caught my eye there. And it's two-toned on one side. Oops, I dropped it. On one side, it's a little bit darker. But then when you flip it over, it's a little bit lighter. If you can see that. So, I don't know. I just, it caught my eye. So I thought if I just layered them all together, they would kind of maybe come together. We'll see. And then a couple of the vintage pieces, you know, would just all kind of, all kind of just tie in, I hope. Let's see. Um, And then this scallop circle, well, let's see, I want this front and center as well. So we might need to bring all this up a little. Put this under her. Hmm. Maybe off to the side. Something like that. Take a car in under here. No, I don't like that. Hmm. I kind of like that pop of red for color, though. I do like that. I think I kind of want this over here. Okay. And then this kind of is the color of the note letters of her name and plus her red hair kind of brings that in a little bit, bring a little bit of that color. almost like I have too many too many items doesn't it I don't know maybe if I take that away Like that. My light just went out. Okay, let's see. So 
some reason I just feel like Okay, there we go. I like that over there. Okay, I think I like... I think I kind of like something like that. So do we have everything? We don't need that. We gotta have some of the, oh, we got that postcard. Do I want this postcard? I don't think we really need it. We've got that one there. Okay, I like that layout right there. I think I'm going to go with that. So let's start putting everything down. Yeah, I was really at a um, dilemma choosing my somebody famous because I have a few that I'm really, really fond of. Um, so I couldn't decide whether I wanted it to be Lucille Ball, Betty White. I love Betty White. And I know they were very close friends. Um, and then I thought about Marilyn Monroe. I like Marilyn Monroe. But comedy won out, so. And then I think there was something with, with um, a famous person, pardon me for that, a famous person last year on the Marguerite Miller collage, and I chose one of my favorites, which was Princess Diana. So I... Uh, Thought about her and I was like, oops, nope, I used her already. Okay, so let's put this down about right there. And then this one next. So yeah, I've used, um, sorry, Charles, my train of thought there. I had used um, Princess Diana last year, so I almost chose her. And it clicked, something clicked. And said, nope, can't do that. Let's put this one down.
funny with these collages. Sometimes they just come together for you so nicely and so easily. They just, I don't know, the pieces just kind of click, you know? And then other times, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's like you struggle and you struggle to get them to um, go together, you know? I don't know. Scissors here. I'm going to cut this scallop in in half here and just tuck it in like that. but yeah you kind of just tend to struggle sometimes and other times your pieces just seem to just boom 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 just lay right out for you just as perfectly as I don't know what I guess I'm not going to be able to cover up that little bit of the tree, but um, I think I can live with it. So lay that down right about there. Okay, now I'm ready to put Lucy down. I still watch her shows from time to time, not as regularly as I used to, but I'll be flipping through the channels and um, you know, I'll see a, see something pop on the screen and I'll, I'll leave it on the channel for a minute, get a few laughs. think if there's anything I can put on the car here. <laughs> nope. But I think I'm going to put that there. the word down. Start with the bottom, get that straight, and work my way up there. Very good. I'm not going to use that, so I didn't need that. Um, I feel like we need a little something red to bring in a little something red from the vehicle. Let me see if I have anything close at hand. Okay. 
or something pink. No. Won't do. These are just some botanical stickers here. Hmm. I don't have anything. I'm trying to think here. red stamps. Doesn't really do anything for it, does it? Almost kind of needs something just a real deep, deep red, just as bright and deep as the, as the vehicle. So it'll really stand out. We brought in some of the burnt orange from the the uh, wording and for her hair. We need a little something red. Let me see. Everything I have close at hand is kind of a pinkish red. That's kind of large. too big. That's pink anyway. Well, don't have anything. I have red ribbon, but Necessarily want to put a bow. I don't think it calls for a bow. Just a red label. I'll cut that out and see how that looks. I think this is just a Tracy Fox label, I believe. Just to have something just to kind of. going to be satisfied until I put something red. And I think I want to tuck that under. Same way I did that. Just use a piece of it.
And here's the other piece on this side. I can live with that. Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop there. I like it. I think it's nice and full. Move everything out of the way. Okay. Pin on my glue here. And where's my prompt list? And I think it does say, oh, a date written out. That's right. I knew it said something else. So I have to write out the date. We could do that in red. So today is the 15th. We are going to write that. Let's see. We'll put it right here. And then I have a line to go on, so I write it halfway straight. May 15th, I want to splatter some shimmery some gold or something on there. I don't know. Okay, we'll stop there. I will tape the prompt list to the back, which I've gotten away from doing my tucking it in into a pocket behind my thing the last few weeks. I've been taping it to the back, but I will do that again this week. Not a problem. So that is my collage for week 20, guys threads. I sewed around my cabinet card for Lucille Ball for the famous person. Something you see through a window. You see a vehicle parked out on the street. Postcard. I've got one right there. Date written out right here. And for a bonus, something blue. I've got on the postcard there. I've got this um, digital here. And I think that's all we have. Blue. Yeah. And then this is a shade of blue. We'll go with that as well. Okay. So, all right. That is my project and my collage for the week, guys. Hope you like what you saw today and inspired you to do, maybe take something away and, and do something or use some type of elements. Maybe you want to use Lucille Ball. I don't know. Um, but please hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Leave me a comment. And until next video, take care and God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye.